If you haven't had an opportunity to watch Joker 2019, stop listening to major spoilers. Here we go. Actually, there's not going to be any spoilers. What I wanted to talk about, man, is just to say to Warner Brothers, thank you for making a great movie. Um, and I'm really confused as a fan of DC films. I don't understand how how we're allowing Marvel to continue its reign. I'm not saying everything has to be connected. I'm not saying that you have to have so many different DC, you know, characters and superheroes inside of each movie. But what I am saying is that this movie was just a movie. There, there wasn't anything really, you know, special about it as far as a DC film. There wasn't anything connected as far as what used to be the DC Extended Universe, DC Universe, whatever we're calling it now. I have no clue. I know it's been a while. 2013, Man of Steel. Then we went to Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, you know, <laughs> Justice League, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. But there just hasn't been... There hasn't been a film that, that that just makes me feel great. And obviously I just skipped Shazam because I mean it was it was completely forgettable. I, I do enjoy DC films. I still enjoy watching them. I watch Man of Steel pretty much once or twice a month now. You know, I'll definitely watch Batman vs. Superman at least once a week just to kind of see what's going on with it, you know, see if I can catch any more Easter eggs or something that I didn't catch the first time. I'm always checking in on Zack Snyder, and it's it's kind of hard to let go, man. With with Todd Phillips, what he's able to do with this movie is to create something that is confined inside of its own environment, its own world, to play around with DC properties and DC names and different characters and create something that is just so spectacular that... It looks really, really great on film. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I noticed any moment inside the movie where I felt like a Warner Brothers executive got involved. I don't think there was a moment inside the movie where I felt confused. Everything flowed, and and I think that's why you know the critics are kind of falling out of love with the movie. I mean, it's looking at sixty nine percent with Rotten Tomatoes, and you guys know how I feel about Rotten Tomatoes. Um, the fan score is that 93 and that's usually how it goes with, with DC properties, man. For some reason, the fans get it. The critics don't. And I'm just wondering at the end of its run, what number are we going to be sitting at? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But as far as the film, it is a great film. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix did a great job. I mean, a superb job. Here's how it sits right now. Obviously, we're going to put Heath Ledger at the top because there's nobody that can beat that performance until we get somebody that can beat the performance. Right underneath, I would have to put Joaquin Phoenix, and then I would go with Jack Nicholson, and then I would go with, you know, some of the older and different animations and maybe even some old school 66 Batman in there, you know. Um, <laughs> what was special about this movie for me was uh, the color palette. It's still kind of resembled what Zack Snyder had as far as his his color palette selection. Um, the way that you had, you know, kind of like this really faded out saturation mixed in with, you know, really great explosions and, you know, the reds were really vibrant. Um, inside here, what you'll notice, though, is that the colors have been increased just a little bit. You know, your yellows, your greens, your reds. Um, and even a little bit of blue, you know, kind of really hit, especially with the sirens and everything. I, I don't want to spoil too much of the movie, but what I want to say is that um, it's definitely worth watching probably at least 10 or 15 times in theaters, man. This is the first movie that I felt like, man, DC, you're doing a great job. Um, I didn't feel like they were throwing everything at like uh, everything but the kitchen sink like they did with Aquaman at the end where they had like that giant sea battle where they were just throwing every single monster. And, you know, if you were watching in 3D, your eyes got, you know, crazy, you know, twisted and you were sitting there cross-eyed and like, what the hell's going on? This was perfect, man. Um, 
I, I, I do believe that it's going to win an award. It just kind of depends on what's coming next as far as the award season. And I think Joaquin has a great chance, man, a great opportunity to win and, and kind of be rewarded for what he's been he's been through, man. This this puts him on the the same level, but just a little tick above, man, Christian Bell, because you know how Christian Bell is whenever he gets into a role. Same thing with Jared Leto. Um, this definitely puts him a mark above Jared Leto. Um, this is just, it's crazy, man. Um, I will say this, though, that, that this this has nothing to do with DC Comics. It has nothing to do with what we've, you know, come to to know about the character. And, that, and I think that that's great because it kind of gives an opportunity for new filmmakers and gives an opportunity for Warner Brothers to create, you know, great films like they did with this one. Joker movie is, is something that should be um, talked about for a couple of years, man, for at least, at least, I'd say at least five to seven years, maybe even 10, but 10's kind of pushing it. Um, it does get you excited to see what's going to happen with, uh, with the Batman and, I'm I'm not excited for Suicide Squad with James Gunn because there's just too many changes for me and I'm just too damn old and I I don't have time for changes. I don't like it. Um but I am kind of, you know, looking forward to seeing uh the opening credits, okay? <laughs> just seeing what we're getting ourselves into. Um it it does kind of get you eager to get to Valentine's Day for um, you know, Bop HQ with you know, Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey, which the movie should be called Harley Quinn featuring the birds of prey because you know everything's been about harley quinn um it also gets you excited to see if maybe they'll come back with another movie or maybe they'll come back with you know todd phillips doing some other property i would like to see him take on you know maybe lobo try to take on um maybe man bat you know, something, something that can give him an opportunity to really like excel, man. You know, something like Mr. Freeze, maybe, or maybe, maybe even take on, you know, the uh, Riddler and just call the movie Riddler, you know, and maybe that's his thing. Maybe that's what Todd Phillips is going to give, you know, DC, you know, films is, is like these movies that are just the title of the character and then they go on their own way. And maybe that's, that. maybe that's, that's better. Maybe we're, we're, Maybe we're too far advanced now in 2019 to kind of take on or even try to compete with uh, Marvel Studios, man. Um, but yeah, I tip my hat off, man, to uh, to uh, to Todd Phillips, man, and Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Robert De Niro and everybody that was in that movie, man. Um, no spoilers or nothing, but you got to see it. Um, it's definitely worth. I paid six dollars and fifteen cent. I can go all the way up to fifteen dollars for IMAX. Um, and that's, that's, that makes you feel good, man. Cause you know, with man is still, I watched that 25 times in theaters and, uh, with this one, I'll probably watch it about 15 times, man. So we're out of here guys. Leave your comments for the Joker. Um, and yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about everything. We're out of here. Take it easy. <laughs> okay. That's enough. <laughs>